unusual settings. It's all to do with boxing and uh, I'm intrigued about these unusual settings. Yes, I'm glad you've asked. That's right. Four of our biggest boxing stars from the Midlands are fighting at the Coventry Sky Dome on the 10th of September. With just two weeks to go, though, you'd think that they'd be spending all of their time in the gym. But no, they've been getting some lessons in Michelin-style cooking, would you believe? Pablo Taylor explains. Four Midlands boxers putting their gloves aside for a different kind of contest. This is the Michelin star restaurant of Glyn Purnell, who's been putting them through their paces. The reason why they're here today is that I train uh, down the east side gym with them, so I try and lose a bit of weight and get my boxing skills up. And I thought, well, why not get them down here and do a little bit of training in my sort of gym? So that's why they're here. <laughs> so, round one. We know boxers are good when it comes to their hands, but what about when they're used to roll dough? First up, River Wilson-Bent, the Midlands area middleweight champion from Coventry. He once had a brief stint as a chef before turning his attention to boxing. Long hours, yeah, uh, we weren't the best to be fair. I didn't, it weren't really me, so I couldn't stand the heat in the kitchen, let's say that. Well, from the look of that dough, you probably made the right career change. Shakan Pitters, meanwhile, is the former British light heavyweight champion from Birmingham. Unlike River, he does fancy himself as a bit of a chef. Uh, I like to cook a lot of Jamaican food. Uh, your dumplings, the and saltfish, plantain, mutton, jerk chicken, those kind of things at home. Well, you definitely rolled dough better than River. We're giving this round to you. So, to round two. This involved replicating a fancy looking salmon dish. Watching on were Brummies Casey Benjamin, the former Midlands area welterweight champion, and Sam Eggington, the current WBC silver middleweight champion. First up was Sam, who says he's pretty disciplined when it comes to his meals. So how does this one compare? It's probably got the same amount of calories, but it definitely don't look like this. Sam is headlining next month's boxing event in Coventry. Win, and he could be set for a shot at a world title but says he's not looking that far ahead. I've never planned my career, so I'll just get through the fight that, that I'm, I've got um, and we'll go from there afterwards. Last but not least, Casey Benjamin. He says him and his girlfriend try their best to share cooking duties, but he's probably head chef. We take it in turns of uh, cooking for each other, so... Um, yeah. Usually it's me more often because she does a, she's a nurse and she does night shifts most of the time, so... Background. Okay, for this decision, let's get the thoughts of Judge Pennell. Good all round, I think. Um, good job done. Uh, I like the way that uh, Casey was more interested in the way Sam's done it than the way. Sam's done. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't, he, wasn't, he, was copying, he was copying Sam. He wasn't copying. So if you look, yeah, they're both roughly the same, but they didn't copy mine. So yeah, I think to be honest with you, that split decision it could be, but I'll probably just. Slight edge towards Sam's oh, kind of technical. Come on, come on. So, <laughs> Sam took the win, but in the end, all four enjoyed the prize. Nice Pablo up. Taylor, ITV News. There you go, I bet you weren't expecting that. They did really well. I mean, I make quite a mean lasagna, but I'm not sure how I would have coped in that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting to feel so hungry after your, your sports section, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm absolutely starving. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark.